Kano is right. C.Y. Buhari is not speaking to Nigerians directly. For years now, President Buhari has failed to address Nigerians in a media chat, especially on issues affecting the generality of Nigerians in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. The leaders of the world have addressed their citizens on measures to contain this issue and ameliorate the plight of the citizen. Coming back home to Nigeria, our beloved president has refused to talk to us. His best was a tweet on his official Twitter handle. Nigerians' plight is just like a father that have refused or failed to address pressing issues affecting his children, maintaining silence and ignorance to the amazement of his children. Leaders all over the world engages and addresses their citizens, communicating to them on all issues affecting them and requiring clarifications. But here we are, President Buhari rarely communicates to Nigerians. In the wake of the virus and the pandemic issue on this new disease, the corona, the COVID-19, everyone have been waiting for the president, for the president's address, but to no avail. Even the senator's call on the president to let Nigerians know the way forward was ignored by the president. The, pres the, the question is, why is President Buhari not speaking to Nigerians? If you are a follower of Buhari all the time that he contested and lost until he eventually won, he had never presented himself for debate with other presidential candidates. He only releases statements through his aides. He has continued in that line even as president. This will point to the fact that maybe he is not good in relating to the public as his statements always end up sparkling deb debates among the populace and, and painting the administration in bad shape before the people. So his handlers prefer to speak on his behalf. The president might also have an impediment that will be revealed while communicating one-on-one -on -one with Nigerians as such he is reluctant. Or should we accept the popular opinion of Namdekanu, the leader of the Biafra and the indigenous people of Biafra, that have opined that the Buhari in Asurok is fake? So refusing to address Nigerians is a way of escaping being detected. I strongly believe that President Buhari can't stand the media and to brilliantly address the barrage of questions from journalists in the course of a media chat. He will not be able to properly understand the questions being asked and ditch out a correct answer. Buhari and his handlers know this. The only way to avoid this scenario and protect the public image of his administration is to avoid the media. We all saw, the most, we all saw most of his blunders during the electioneering campaigns. All right, guys, what do you think of uh, this issue? Uh, the issue of uh, President Buhari addressing the public or addressing Nigerians. We all know that a lot of people have actually called for him to uh, address the nation, you know, in the wake of this uh, COVID-19 issue and um, how things have actually been going, but to no avail. And uh, it has proved difficult to get his attention or to hear him speak. He does not speak in the public and he does not even address uh, Nigerians and he does not, you know, face the camera. So it gives, uh, it continues to worry Nigerians and many more as regards what could be the particular issue or the challenge on this particular matter. Why has he failed to, you know, address the country? What could be the issue? Definitely Nigerians keep uh, suspecting that something is wrong somewhere. There is or there should be, you know, um, uh, uh, how do I put it now? There should be uh, a reason why he has failed or he's failing to address Nigerians. Something definitely must be wrong somewhere. While Nigerians cannot understand why he would not continue or he would not address Nigerians as other presidents of the world are doing, a lot of people are beginning to 
tilts towards the opinion of uh, Namdekanu, saying that the Buhari in the Asurok is fake and not the Buhari that was voted into power in 2015. So guys, the issue now is, because there are no evidences, people cannot authoritatively um, stand by the opinion of Namdekanu. But to a large extent, a lot of people are beginning to believe and uh, assert or uh, take Namdekanu's assertion or stand on this particular issue. It is very important that one would know the status of things or Nigerians should know the status of things with their president. His continued silence and not addressing the nation only keeps pointing finger to the fact that something is wrong somewhere. And people are actually insinuating and trying to know what is going on. So why will the president refuse to address his people? The people he so uh, choose to govern or seek their uh, votes to be elected into the pre into uh, office right now. So, so he continues to give worries. You know how people are beginning to feel unease. We are uneasy with his stand uh, uh, by not actually uh, discussing or addressing the nation. One thing is very very sure. Nigerians need to actually find out what is going on. Don't forget that AIT has been kicked out of the Asso Rock. They cannot longer cover issues on the president. They've been kicked out. Now, the video that was released of the president speaking, you know, is a very short clip of less than 50 seconds where, you know, one cannot uh, for sure ascertain if actually it was the president speaking or it was um, a doctored video. You know, while there was no beginning, there was no greeting, and you know, just in between, there's just uh, a, a, a just a, a, how do you put edited a few parts and posted it as the address to the nation, not a, a typical address where the president would face the media, address the whole nation, you know, from the beginning to the end, and uh, not a situation whereby he actually was being interviewed and he will be responding to questions. There are questions that people need to ask the president and he needs to answer. So this particular issue is beginning to worry a lot of Nigerians and so many people are beginning to find it uneasy, you know, that things are being handled this way. So guys, from the look of things, what are your thoughts on this particular matter? Buhari seems to be given credence to the uh, claims and opinions of Namdekanu on this particular issue. There are reasons to begin to believe Namdekanu. I don't know, but these are my thoughts. So guys, are you guys saying that what Namdekanu has said is true and correct? Do you believe in Namdekanu on this particular issue? It is important that we know what is going on. It is important that Nigerians know who their president is. It is important that Nigeria knows who they are dealing with. Because if they are sure that who is there is not Buhari, then they will know how to go about things. And if they actually is Buhari, then it's important so that they also know how to handle issues. People, uh, you know, a few, a handful of people cannot just be playing on intelligence of over, a, over 200 million people. It doesn't make sense. Just a handful of persons, you know, because they are privileged to be in power to coordinate things. It is absurd and it does not make sense. While a lot of people are beginning to or have been saying that issues on this particular matter needs to be addressed. I think it is high time that a lot of people come out. To protest on this particular matter so that the truth can be revealed and so that whatever is hidden can be made uh, open to the public so that people can know what is actually going on it is really really unfortunate and it is really really sad that nigerians cannot get to see their president or cannot hear the voice of their president addressing them in a live stream it is really really unfortunate but be that as it may, that is what the government or the people, the handlers of the president want us to believe. And that is what they want us to actually uh, accept. But how long will things continue this way? For how long will they continue to play on the intelligence of Nigerians? It is really, really unfortunate. Well, guys, these are my thoughts on this particular news story. These are my ideas and my opinion. Uh, I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. 
I want you guys to drop by the comment section to let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please do hit the bell icon as well so you can get notification whenever a new story is updated. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you on the other news. Have a wonderful time and bye.